Hello, Ophiuchus, sun, moon, and rising. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to the month of November 2022. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. Please keep in mind, Ophiuchus, that this is a general reading. Yes? So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. I mean, we could very well be speaking to a cross watcher here as well. So just keep that in mind. However this resonates for you, place this into your life as it fits naturally, even if the roles are reversed. Okay? Um, if you would like to get a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below where I live list the readings that I offer and my email address. Shoot me an email, let me know you're interested, and I will be more than pleased as punch to get you all hooked up. And while we're on the topic of personal readings, if you would like to potentially receive a discount for your personal readings, that being 10 or 20% or $10 off altogether, um, asterisk, then check out Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. The link to that can be found in the description box below. That is a great way to support the channel and the work that I do here to also get some extra content with me throughout the month. And as I said, potentially get a 10 or 20% discount on your readings. Now there is one final tier on Patreon in which you can get a $10, $10 off your either a 30 minute live session with me or a recorded freestyle reading. And that comes with all of the Patreon content. So normally a 30 minute uh, live session with me or a free recorded freestyle reading is $65. But for on this tier, you pay $55 a month and you get that, you get your either a 30 minute session with me or a freestyle reading, one per month, and you get all of the Patreon content, all from the past and all in the future to come as long as you are a member. And that is actually a really great deal. So if you're interested in that, especially that final tier of $55, I encourage you to check that out as soon as possible because that tier specifically is limited to five spaces only. And as of this month, I believe there's only three spaces left. So if you wanna get in on that, definitely check out Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. And as always, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined and haven't done so already. Yes? All right, Ophiuchus. Oh, okay, I just want to dive into this. I don't really want to talk about energies. I don't, I just, well, I, I am going to talk about the energies. I don't really want to channel much. What I'm hearing myself say is I just want to get into the cards. So, okay, we're going to get into the cards. Two more shuffles then for Ophiuchus, sun, moon, and or rising. Last shuffle here. Okay, maybe you're feeling kinda, your energy is feeling kinda hasty, Ophiuchus. Or at the very least, I just feel like you're leaning in. You're, you're really leaning in. For some of you, you are noticing an opportunity for advancement for yourself that you are leaning in towards because you want to take advantage of it. For others of you, you're leaning in in this way because you're intrigued and or you're interested. I feel like for some of you in this section here, you're learning something new or you're about to learn something new. For others of you in this, like a subsection of this, I feel like you are aware of the fact that you're about to make some sort of breakthrough. You're leaning in somehow for some reason, Ophiuchus. For some of you, this absolutely does feel predatorial. Some of you may um, really be feeling the anger and or heightened aggression of Mars retrograde right now. For some of you, this energy feels like, you know what, I, I wish a motherfucker would. Try me. For some of you, you're looking for someone, maybe even someone specific to make a misstep to fuck up so that you can teach him a lesson or two or, 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 or get them back in line. So here's, here's the thing about, and I know I said I wasn't going to do this, but I think that was just me picking up on your energy. Here's the thing about Ophiuchus energy. I don't, I honestly don't feel like you have a malicious bone in your body. I really do not feel like there is anything malicious about you, Ophiuchus. However, of course, given the circumstances and maybe your propensity, propensity towards anger and or rage, it can come across that way. But 
e and even though, and that's very similar to Scorpio, okay? You're right next to Scorpio. In, in some cases, your energy may blend a lot with that of Scorpio. Also, there are a lot, there are many others of you who resonate more with Sagittarius energy, okay? But as a whole, and for many people that study astrology and are you and are working with Ophiuchus, many people associate closely associate Ophiuchus energy with Scorpio energy. Scorpio will sting someone just for the hell of it. Sometimes, you Ophiuchus, you don't feel like that. And at least maybe that's for the individuals that I'm I'm channeling for that I'm reading for. But that doesn't mean that if not given the chance, you won't you won't cut a bitch, but I, you know what I mean? But at the same time, if that's happening, it's for a very real and valid reason. Because what I understand from what I understand about your energy from my research and then also just from, you know, channeling you for an extended amount of time now, I feel like you are all about bringing balance to a situation, healing a situation, leveling a situation out. You are all about retribution You're not necessarily looking for a fight until there's a reason for it. And once there's a reason for it, God help anybody that gets in Ophiuchus's way, right? So I feel like some of y'all have, and maybe, maybe this has to do with Mars retrograde, okay. Um, but I feel like for some of y'all, y'all been pushed to a point where it's like, okay, now you've gotten on my bad side. And now if I have the opportunity to fuck you up, Oh, honey, I will not hesitate to take it. Does it necessarily, again, and this is weird, it doesn't necessarily feel like you're really looking for it, looking for it, but you're paying attention. And should they give you op the opportunity? God help them. <laughs> Wait, hold on a second. I got to pause. Okay. And I will say, Ophiuchus, that I love this about you. Like, not only just because I, I do kind of have an affinity for Scorpio energy, a Scorpionic energy, but like also I kind of identify with this a little bit because I was born in 1987 and I, I am a part of a generation that has Saturn in Ophiuchus. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to leave that there. Let's get into these cards then. What's, go <laughs> what's going on for Ophiuchus, Sun, Moon, and Rising, please? All right, look. The two of wands in reverse is the first card out. And the first thing I feel and hear with this is like, you've run out of options or this person or this situation that you're leaning into has run out of options. There's nowhere to run. There is nowhere to hide at this point. You can't get yourself out of this now. You're just going to have to face it head on. And maybe this is something that you guys are kind of Maybe this is something that you, Ophiuchus, may have worked yourself into, but the dominant feeling that I'm getting here is that this is directed towards someone or something else external to you, whether this is an individual or just a situation as a whole, okay? What's going on for Ophiuchus? Four of Pentacles, not backing down. I'm also hearing leading the way and standing your ground. Uh, the, the Knight of Pentacles, is showing itself. I'm hearing don't take it, but also do read this energy. There, there is a need, a desire for progress here. And that be, seems to be the main motivation towards what it is you're going through. And that makes perfect sense, Ophiuchus. Um, at you being an energy of dom dominantly an energy of healing, that would also represent progress. And for some of you, what you're leaning into is a desire to enact change or create change in your life or in the world, in, in the world in general, in society, maybe even if in your uh, uh, something close knit like your family or your close knit or your your um, um, local society or so something like that. OK. Ophiuchus, what's going on for Ophiuchus? I mean, I wouldn't say you're looking for a fight, but page of sorts. <laughs> I wouldn't say you're looking, looking for it, but you do have your eyes open. You've got your eyes peeled. You are, if, okay, if, if anything else, or uh, Ophiuchus, you're at least paying attention now. Oh, shit. 
some of you feel like there is no other way around this. For some of you with this two of wands energy, it's not necessarily that you've worked yourself into this situation and or position. It's more that you don't see any other way out of this. There are no two ways about it. Okay, two of wands. And then you have the four of pentacles here from which I'm, I'm getting the energy of standing your ground. Or at least a, what I just heard is a solid foundation base to work from. I'm also getting an energy Ophiuchus of that you are very, very solid in a level of values. It may be values and or morals that you are a, 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 a moralistic place that you are coming from. There may also be a, a fairly righteous energy here in this four of pentacles. I will say, you know what it is, at least I will say, I will, let me say that again. I will say at least, at the very least, you know who it is you are and or what it is you stand for. Overall energy for you, Ophiuchus, is the magician. With this, I'm hearing you're about to make this right. Do whatever it takes, whatever I've got to do to, to make this right, I'm going to do it. I don't, I mean, yes, I get an, a manipulative energy from this, from this magician here, Ophiuchus, but I really don't get much, I, I don't get much malice here. What I get from this magician energy is you being very capable. You may have some sort of expertise in something, okay? You may be well read in something. You know how to work the situation and or you are very capable of doing so. And with that, I'm just going to put this out there, take it as it resonates for whomever it resonates. But like I said earlier, God help anyone that gets in your way. What I'm hearing and or feeling is, and this is, this is something that I'm, I'm, I'm giving pause you know, I want to make sure that I'm hearing this and, and channeling this correctly, but there is the way it's being uh, conveyed to me and the way I'm translating is someone should be very afraid of you, at least in terms of this situation. Not because you're out for blood, not because you're out to really hurt or maim someone, but because you are very, very capable of getting the job done, whatever that means. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Just saying that fills me with like joy. It's just, you are extremely capable. So capable, so powerful that this is almost nothing for you. This is almost child's play for you. <sighs> okay, let's look at this two of wands in reverse because I really, Ophiuchus, I really get a very strong energy of there's no two ways about this. And for some of you, there is a great deal of humbleness here. It's not, again, it's not like you're looking for a fight. It's not like you're really even trying to put somebody in their place, but it's almost as if you feel like you have no choice or there is no other way, there is no other option here. Some of you may even be in such a humble place that you may even be trying to resist this, but it, it's nagging you almost. It's like you, it won't let you rest. There is something deeper here. And it, this, it doesn't feel like this is coming from any sort of egoic or self-righteous place. It's like the energy of the situation is demanding some sort of a release or the energy of the situation is like, poking you, saying, I need, your, I need your help. I need your help. Something is trying to come out here. Something is looking for release. Something is looking for or trying to be uncaged because in some cases, again, this is a general reading, take it as it resonates, but it feels like there is something about this situation that, has, that is wrongful, that has been wrongfully imprisoned, wrongful imprisonment even. I mean, shit, you could be an attorney you know, working on behalf of someone who has, quite frankly, been wrongfully imprisoned. It's that kind of, that's what the feeling is here. So let's clarify this two of wands in reverse then. 
It won't let you sleep. It won't let you rest. Two of Wands, please, for Ophiuchus. The Knight of Wands. Oh my God. Okay, hold on. Two of Wands reversed. For Ophiuchus, two of Wands reversed, please. There's the energy of standing your ground, but you have... Wow. You have the Knight of Wands. You have the Lovers, which is the ultimately, in many cases, can be seen as the major arcana version of the Two of Wands because the Lovers does represent a choice. But then you also have the Seven of Wands. And the Seven of Wands is that energy of standing your ground and or standing up for something. And I know I've been saying there's a feeling here of like you have no choice, but then you have the energies of um, the lovers, which is an even greater representation of a choice. But also keep in mind that the lovers is a trump card or is a major arcana card so that this card overrides the energies, the lovers, the energies of the lovers overrides the energies of the two of wands. So we'll look at it this way. From an egoic place, from a three dimensional place, two of wands, you don't have a choice because there is something higher. There is a higher calling here. The two of the, 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 love, the lovers. There is a greater, there is a higher, a, a higher awareness, a higher power. That is, I want to say, demanding this of you. And it could be hitting you right in your feels in terms of your morals, what it is you stand up for. Yes, a certain level of righteousness, but this almost, if this is righteousness, I kind of want to call this divine righteousness. Okay. And that is inspiring you to move forward somehow. That is inspi- I am kind of, uh, I'm hearing a crusade with this page, I'm sorry, Knight of Wands energy. Normally, if I'm getting a crusade type of energy from a knight, it's usually the Knight of Swords. But in this case, there is a level of righteousness, but I really don't even want to, I, I want to say divine righteousness because this is not self-righteousness. I do, honestly, I'm getting a feeling here, Ophiuchus, for some of you that you would probably much rather not have anything to do with this. You would probably try, you would, pro if, you, if you really had a choice, you'd probably choose to keep yourself out of harm's way or out of the line of fire. <laughs> and then the overall energy is the Ace of Wands. I mean, there, again, this is another representation of there are no other options. There, there's no way around this. There's no two ways about this. There is only one way to proceed. Holy shit. Okay. Let's clarify the four of pentacles here for you. And with this four of pentacles, I hear, I'm hearing standing on solid ground. Uh, you actually, whew, keeping up with our analogy here of potentially being an, an attorney, working on behalf of someone who has been wrongfully imprisoned, you may have a great deal of evidence to, uh, in favor, in your favor, or in favor of the defendant here who would be this person that has been wrongly, wrongfully imprisoned. That also may be a part of the reason why there's this energy of, well, I really have no choice but to go through with this, don't I? The evidence is damning. I mean, I have so much of it. It's, it's like clear, it, it's, there's no two ways around this. Okay, clarify the four of pentacles here, please. Spirit, for Ophiuchus. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up, you guys. You can't make this stuff up, dude. It's the king of fucking swords. And the king of swords would represent that judge or at least that objective point of view to say, here is the evidence all laid out. I mean, if you are an attorney, this may be a once in a lifetime situation. And maybe that's another reason as to why you feel like you have no choice but to take this case. 
because it's all laid out there. And what I'm hearing is for somebody here, in, 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 it's somehow, this, it's like all of the, the, the solidity of this has just been wrapped up and handed to you in a nice whole pretty little bow. Like the universe delivered to you this immensely powerful, I wanna call it, package, just handed it to you, maybe even on a silver platter. But uh, 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 again, I wanna also say I'm hearing the evidence is damning. Objective clear cut to the point objectively speaking this is the foundation that we are standing on oh man ophiuchus whoa clarify this four of pentacles please for ophiuchus anything else for the four of pentacles the two of cups Okay, so now all of a sudden this is giving me relationship vibes. But it's also giving me a partnership type of energy. Two people coming together on an emotional level. A meeting of the minds. You guys understand each other. Or coming together creatively to work together on something. Now you do also in some cases, this lover's energy here is also a, a major arcana representation of the two of cups. But I feel like this two of cups does represent an energy of two people. Again, keeping up with our attorney, uh, a lawsuit um, analogy. These are two people, attorney and defendant coming together uh, on the grounds of some sort of common goal. And I feel like it's the energy of the lovers here, this higher power, this higher wisdom, this Trump like this the energy has brought these two together. So it may even be, again, keeping up with this uh, attorney, uh, client or defendant situation. It could be the universe that has brought you two together. You share a common goal. There is an energy of a, co of a common goal being shared here. And even if it's not that, uh, the, you know, the attorney client or the attorney defendant situation, it's you being brought into this situation to help defend or act on behalf of another individual or maybe even a group of individuals that maybe have been disenfranchised somehow. Okay. Again, general reading, take it as it resonates, but somehow this can be applied. At least the analogies that I'm, I'm, I'm picking up on, they can be applied somehow, right? Okay, clarifying the Four of Pentacles. Anything else for the Four of Pentacles for Ophiuchus? <laughs> Whoa, okay. Um, wow. Finally, clarifying the Four of Pentacles, you have the Eight of Swords and the world. Literal imprisonment, Ophiuchus. <laughs> Okay, so we really could be talking to an attorney who is working with someone from an objective point of view and from a very solid and grounded point place to end a state of wrongful imprisonment. Oh. Man, you can't make this stuff up. I am not, I swear to y'all, I am not making this up. You are seeing me draw these cards right here, right now in front of you. The overall energy is the five of swords. Ugh. Ooh. You know, um, what I just heard with this five of swords energy here in relation to the four of pentacles, which is what we're clarifying at this moment, I literally just heard somebody does not have a leg to stand on. There is some sort of malicious energy, five of swords, that now seems to be coming back around to not only bite someone in the ass, but take a whole chunk out of that ass. <laughs> I mean, like, leave y'all, leave this person with, a, 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 if not a heavy scar, if not a great deal of flesh, gone. This is some sort of extremely malicious energy that is coming around to bite someone in the ass. Wrongful imprisonment. 
keeping up with this analogy then, um, if there was an attorney in the past that sought to wrongfully imprison someone, the result of the situation now as it stands, progressing moving forward, that attorney could face disbarment because of malpractice. Okay, closing message or page of swords. Let's clarify the page of swords a bit. What's this page of swords energy, please spirit? Page of swords, the queen of pentacles. Clarify the page of swords, please. Overall energy is judgment. And judgment here feels like, it feels like this energy of someone resolving to say, okay, I'm obviously being called to this by the universe somehow or by some greater higher power, whatever it is you believe in. So this feels like that moment where someone is like, okay, I guess I'll take this up then. This is definitely the type of situation in which uh, the reason why someone is investigating or looking into it or looking into this or is has their eyes open towards this right now is because they are you are Ophiuchus intending to help someone in need or help a group of people in need. Again, this could be a group of people who have been disenfranchised somehow. Clarifying this page of swords. What we're getting here in terms of this clarification is the reason as to why someone is now attuned to this, is now paying attention, okay? Mm -hmm. You have the Queen of Pentacles, you have the Fool, the Nine of Swords, and the Five of Pentacles. And I wanna say at a basic level, this person is getting involved here because technically there is something in it for them, whether that be public recognition or just a sense of being of service, okay? Um, but, and yes, that's superficial. It is coming from the queen of pentacles, but it's not the main focus. Yes. The queen of pentacles would not get involved unless the situation were balanced and reciprocal. So unless there were something to be gained and or received on her behalf, you know, she's, you know what I mean? But again, that's not the main focus here. That's literally just a prerequisite. The real reason as to why she's getting involved or why this person wants to provide and be helpful in some way is to get someone out of some sort of extremely painful and or helpless state. And this could be also changing the circumstances on behalf of a group of people. Shit, the greater good as a whole. You know what I mean? Like. It doesn't just have to be just one specific person. Okay. Okay. Closing message, please, Spirit, for Ophiuchus. Closing message for Ophiuchus here. Your remaining objective this is literally just about balancing the scales. It's not justice, it's the Six of Pentacles. It's like you don't really even have any eggs in this basket, or you don't even really have any sort of involvement or, or ties to this situation, circumstance, or whatnot, whatever. Six of Pentacles. This is all about, what I wanna say is like, giving credit where credit is due, Balancing the scales, evening it out, giving someone their just dues. You know what I mean? I hope that's making sense. But this is the only card that's come out for your closing message. And then the overall energy at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> the overall energy at the bottom of the deck, Ophiuchus, is the tower. Ooh. If someone is owed something, retribution, Money, 
reparations. If someone, even if it's, even if someone is owed reprimanding, it's really, really, really just about balancing those scales and facilitating the, what, facilitating um, someone getting their just rewards, someone getting their just desserts, someone getting what it is that they're due, for better or for worse. This is taking me back to that Five of Swords energy that was at the bottom of the deck at some point. Oh, when we were clarifying the Four of Pentacles. And going back to our analogy here of wrongful imprisonment, if someone doesn't deserve to be in jail, then they need then they deserve to be released. Their try their their case deserves to be retried, reheard, and their name deserves to be absol uh, uh, um, absolved, um, cleared. I mean, the damage is done already, so it's not like you can give that person back those years or months or however long it is that they have been they have spent wrongfully incarcerated. But if that's what's due, you see, do you, I, I hope you understand, I hope I'm conveying the objectiveness in this situation. It's not like you have any sort of emotional or maybe even physical involvement in this situation, at least for the most part. And that's why I'm also kind of feeling like if you, I mean, if you really, ah, shit, if you could, if you could like ignore this situation and go in another direction, I feel like you probably would. But going back again, I didn't finish the statement, but going back to that five of swords energy, something was extremely malicious, was done out of malice, was wrong. Someone was wrongfully imprisoned. Take it as it resonates. Just desserts. I have no eggs in this basket. This has nothing to do with me. I am just here to help balance the scales. Period, point blank, end of story. That's your closing message. Okay, Opie Yukas, I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined and haven't done so already. If you would like a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below where I list the readings that I offer and my email address. Shoot me an email letting me know you're interested and I'll be more than happy to get you all hooked up. If you um, would like to get extra content with me throughout the month, if you would also like to uh, support the channel in some way and also potentially get a discount on your readings, check out Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. The link to that can also be found in the description box below. But with that said, Ophiuchus, I hope you have a fantastic month and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Beauty must. Bye. <laughs>